I'm on my way, on my way to a cannon's land. I'm on my way. Was another in the fire, standing next to me. There was another in the waters, holding back the sea. everybody welcome to my youtube channel jessica machwani i am doing a voiceover today and i am so excited it's been about a week since i last posted but thank god we are back and i am so energetic because i believe that even this type of video is still effective because what is more important is delivering the message how are you able to care for somebody else when you are not caring well enough for yourself? The Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So you need to understand how much love you have for yourself and what kind of love do you have for yourself. Now, we are fearfully and wonderfully made, but we are also beings that are anxious and we tend to worry because the things that we face each and every day they need our attention but because of the things that get to happen in our lives we tend to not believe in God as much as we should now today's message is talking about believing more in God and doing the things that you would do when you believe in god that he is in the situation that you are in when you believe that god is right there with you and not against you he's fighting with you and that is why i have even made break to be about that song which is uh, there is another in the fire often we feel like we are alone and there is there is nowhere that we can find God and his presence can't be felt with us no matter what we are facing, no matter what situation we might be in. But God gets to be right there. He only needs us to acknowledge him as he is there. God never moves away from us simply because of the situation we are in. When Jesus Christ came, and died on the cross for us so many so many barriers were broken we do not get to have to ask somebody else to get to interfere for our prayers to be heard to god we get to do that on our own we get to go to god as our father we talk to him we pray and he answers us without any other person get to be interfering in such a prayer you need to believe that the one that I'm talking to is the God who has created me. You didn't just appear out of nowhere. And you did not come on this earth by accident. You were definitely made with a purpose. All that you have to do is believe that God has never left you and he will never leave you. Well, let's take a commercial break and we'll continue with the rest. Stay tuned. Bye. Another in the fire Standing next to me It was another in the waters Holding back the sea and Should I ever be reminded Of how I've been set free
thank you so much for staying tuned and we go back to the rest of today's message so you should know that god has got so much to offer for you and there is so much that you can do on your own but there are so many great things that god has in plan and in mind for you in his will everything for you is good because he is a good god he is the god who made you to be on this earth who created you and he is definitely going to give you enough strength that you need to overcome whatsoever obstacles that you might have in your life whatsoever situation that you may face in your life right now it may seem like it's a long process right now it may seem like it's something that will not pass but guess what nothing stays still for ever and there is no situation which is permanent because god is the one who has created everything and he is the one who knows the time and space of everything there are so many places in this world that some people have never even visited but they are there and god knows about each and every planet planet that you might ever know and every place that you have never been heard about if he is to know the number of hair in your head then what about your lifespan what about your life is going in and coming out don't worry about the people who leave you today don't worry about the people who are going to come into your life leave everything to god's care when you get to be believing more in God as you should you will find yourself thanking him praising him and you will be recognizing him as God when that gets to happen you will find peace when you get to be in a place where you are not confused you are not battling with the things of which you know that God has already taken care of you will be at peace when you are given peace in a situation where it is supposed that you are supposed to be confused you are supposed to be anxious but then you are peaceful believe that god has already taken care of that case and it is not yours to handle because the god that you are praying to lives if his word is alive and active then how about him himself doesn't it mean that he is more active and alive well for today that's all that i had for you thank you so much for tuning in and watching the video i'll be sure to come back later later on with the video where you'll be able to see me but as for now thank you so much and let's do this again um i think i have already covered the health corner today because when you are caring for yourself you're also caring for people so yes we'll not have the health corner for today um take care of yourself but most importantly take care of each other peace wait wait do not scroll yet wait let me pray for you Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful, special king or queen on the other side of the screen. Lord God, I pray that you remind them that no weapon formed against them shall be able to prosper, Lord God, and that you are always with them, and greater is he that is in them than he that is in the world, Lord God. I pray that you give them peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord Jesus. I pray that you give them confidence like never, ever before. Give them self-love like never, ever before, Lord God, and give them joy. In son, Jesus' name I pray, amen. God loves you, and so do I. Have a blessed and prosperous day.